if you're suffering today. I don't want to take away from how bad it hurts or how confusing it is or hopelessness you might feel. We know from the scriptures that that is loving discipline and it means he considers you a son. That's good news, man. The thing about suffering is it really is relative. You can't mock someone's suffering. You can't, like, one of the dumb things that people always say to me is like, oh, you know, I'm hurting like that, but it's nothing compared to what you're going through. It's like, what? Is, it a, is it like contest? It's not a contest. If you're hurting, you're hurting, and the same grace afforded to me is afforded to you in your suffering. Now, I mean, there's nothing compared to what they're going through in Sudan. <laughs> you're right, but it still hurts. You still need supernatural strength. You still need an awareness of God's grace, a confidence in his love for you. So look to the cross, friend. The beam of light in God's affections for you is that he already purchased you. So all the hurt, all the tears, all the despair, all the falls into these categories that Paul builds out for us when he goes hard-pressed, but not destroyed. Perplexed, but in the end, not in despair. And, and so look to the cross and find your confidence in this reality. The evidence of God's love for you is not in how big your church gets or how comfortable you are or in the evidence of God's love for you is in the cross of Jesus Christ. That while you were a sinner, Christ died for you. So that whatever you're enduring now is for your good and his glory.